Hello Leo, welcome back to my channel. How are you? It's so great to have you back. I am so excited you guys to have you here with me. How are you doing? How are you feeling? I hope you guys are feeling amazing. Leo, yes, you guys. I cannot believe we are here. We are a month away from your season, you guys, your solar return. I just want to go ahead and say I am so grateful for all of you. I'm so grateful for your love, your kindness, your loyalty. Leo, you guys have been so incredibly kind, patient, you guys. I can't even, yes, I cannot even imagine my life without my Leos. My lions. Yes, you guys. So this is going to be your July 1st through the 15th love in general, you guys. Yes, Leo. Just getting grounded back into my center. I cannot believe Leo. You are really embodying the sun and the moon, you guys. Okay? There's this beautiful, beautiful ancient energy for you during this time. Okay? A lot of you, Leo, there's something around your heart, you guys. Some of you are really reaching for something new or you're reaching for something different, Leo. Okay, if you are new to my channel, listen, I am psychic medium, so welcome. I do read tarot intuitively. I also, you guys... I do channel intuitively as well, okay? I am clairvoyant, I am clairaudience, I am a medium, and I do offer mediumship-based readings, you guys. All that information is priced below, so yes. Also, if you are feeling extra generous during this time, I do have donation links. I have my Cash App, I have my PayPal, I have my Venmo, I have my indie deck wish list, so yes, Leo, you are so beautiful, Leo. You are loved this month, Leo. There's nothing about cancer season that isn't about your shine, your healing, your health. Okay. Yes, Leo. So paying attention, you guys. Okay, something around time. I am having a vision of a clock. It's moving counterclockwise. It's moving clockwise, you guys. Listen, everything around your life is shifting during this time, you guys, for the better. Okay, it is shifting for the better. Wow, Leo. This is about hidden wisdom. A lot of you, the elements are pouring in gifts. The elements are pouring in the wisdom. Okay? The elements are starting to give back. You are reaping fruition. A lot of you, if you've had a year of sacrifice and a lot of pain, you guys... You are seeing your rise, Leo. Cancer season is about your glow up in all areas, okay? Listen, Leo. I do see some of you guys right now. There's a ritual in honor of your growth or in honor of healing around the moon. Okay? This is about honoring everything that you've been through. Yes. Okay, we do have Chiron. Okay. We have healing, you guys. You are the key. Leo, you are the key. 
you are the master okay of your life you are in a state of creation saturn is gifting you the keys to the temples of ancient riches okay and also scriptures anything around knowledge you guys have been waiting to hear back from something okay this is because listen a lot of you have been pulled down into the soil or you have been really pulled down in such a way that is not fair to your crown okay leo this month is about illuminating truth okay and you're standing up and this is what you're doing okay you're saying that's fine okay you can invade my space all you want but who's grabbing your head okay this is about victory and triumph for you guys your ancestors your lineage your spirit guides everything is in your favor leo okay everything is in your favor we do have Pisces and believe the first week you guys it's almost a relief from the shoulders you're kind of taking something off people might be kind of invasive please make sure you're paying attention here okay to your psychic senses even as I'm kind of you know doing a bit of the the wheezing okay this is about your environment it doesn't matter Leo okay it doesn't matter if they throw all kinds of crap okay it doesn't matter what kind of crap they're throwing at your face at your you know listen some of you guys have really been through it okay for a lack of a better word I can you know go there um, you have been through it there's a burden here okay but listen Leo your dreams are manifesting okay you see how this is happening here yes you guys Pisces is creating space for your dreams with the number two and four this is about home there's something that you really wanted from a home and it's yours no one can take it from you okay some of you have it almost seems as if you're trying to you know make yourself so small to try to make it work or to try to really get to your destination you guys and you will okay you will for many reasons more than one because of your faith because of who you are because of who you're becoming everything you have been manifesting it's starting to unravel or uncoil okay Pisces Leo is a sign of sacrifice and this is where you guys are you have sacrificed something with the number 24 here uh, perhaps the Psalms 24 or lyrics something around maybe lyrics around the 24 okay some of you there's been a lot of you know trying to kind of keep you bound to some kind of survival or pain okay you see how she wears her crown she's just a bit disheveled there's numbness around her face there's a lack of heart or even just there's a need to protect their heart or your heart this is where you've been Leo a lot of you have been trying to kind of keep yourselves afloat keep yourselves in alignment okay listen Pisces Neptune is a planet of the sirens it's a planet of um, believing in yourself okay it's a planet of trusting your animals trusting your instincts okay give me a second you guys some of you may be closing the door on something or someone okay there's something around closing the door okay even the act of opportunities coming in but not every opportunity is not going to make it towards you okay yes Leo wow this doesn't come without a sacrifice 
I did see the number 24. Beautiful. Okay, Leo. Listen, July 1st through the 15th. Okay. There's something around a desert storm, you guys. It has been really heavy, okay? It's really starting to kind of remove itself. It almost reminds me of a dust storm. What do you call it, you guys? Um, it's a very old school. Remind me, you guys. You guys have not been able to see, okay? There's been something around trying to keep yourself afloat, keeping, collecting information. You're collecting, you're trying to get to your destination. And it's beautiful. You're getting there by the 8th. It's yours, okay? This is all you've wanted. You've had such a focus, my lions. Okay, you have a focus here. And it really revolves around letting go of something around your inner child, your childhood. Okay, some of you are dealing with people who are showing you two faces. Okay, there's trickery here this, this week. Okay, Leo, someone here is under the bridge. Okay, promises of comfort, promises of, you know, promises of um, some kind of fruition, okay? I can give you this if you give me this, or I, I'll give you what you need. But pay attention to the two faces, you guys. Okay, there's something around your intuition here. You've been here before. This is not the first time. Okay, Leo, Sag, Aries. This is not the first time. Okay, your creativity, you guys. This week, although things are a bit dark, you're still forming, you're still creating. These are very creative energies, you guys. It could be art, it could be music, it could be um, you know, anything around public. People are watching you, they're in shock. You're creating, you know, water out of, you know, thin air. It's 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 one of those things, Leo. But I can feel this positivity. It doesn't come without a price, Leo, you've sacrificed. It hurts. Okay. So listen, your fifth house. Okay. Some of you are getting into the field of nursing around the 10th. Okay. Or the number one zero is prominent here. Okay. For others, there's something about service. You're doing something in service of which is really positive. It's actually really beautiful. Listen, the earth is teaching you, you guys. The earth is, is trying to kind of show you where you are. It's showing you what is missing, Leo. Okay? This is about your firmness or your ability to remain grounded, calm, steady, there's an illusion being casted that you're not going to make it, Leo. All you've ever wanted is this one thing, Leo. You are just closing your eyes and you are walking, walking through this desert with your eyes closed and you're saying, I'm going to make it. You've only, want, it's like you're looking at the sky and you're saying, why? <laughs> why, Father Sky? I only want this one thing, okay? And this one thing is right below your feet, you guys. It's right below your feet. Okay, so let's see here. What's happening, my Leos? Yes, this is why I definitely felt. Listen, a lot of you. Okay, there's something around cancer season. Okay, Leo. You are facing some karmic debt here, okay? Some of you, there's a past life contract around trauma or PTSD, or even around recognizing um, your lineage's pain, okay, before you get to the next phase. You are being gifted paradise, okay? But if you guys are working with your ancestors during this time, there is a bit of an encouragement, okay, to please heal, let go, okay, or find rituals. Really spend time with the earth, 
to find out or seek further knowledge about your past. There's a reoccurring cycle in terms of your career path here. Okay. There's something from your past, you guys. It's, it's a continuous pattern for some of you. Okay, or it's been a continuous thing for some of you here. It's time to really allow truth to just speak for itself, you guys. Um, listen, you are uncovering a major secret around your 10th house. People may have casted you out, April, or there was an illusion with the moon. It's really giving you a warm, loving hug, a reminder that not all is what it seems. If you have been worried about people betraying you, okay, I don't see it's coming from the sources that you think, okay? I feel it's coming from places that you may not have seen or noticed, okay? Now you are healing from this, okay? This is about really connecting and realizing what is true. Okay, we cannot hide once the bandage is off, okay? So yes, Leo, nine days, the riches. If you are a Leo with Pisces in your chart, okay, if you have a Pisces rising, moon, Venus, yes. Some of you, there's a sacrifice here, Leo, that needs to be made before you move ahead, okay? Your lineage. Okay, your lineage is, is crying for your help. Okay, they need you to really find the source of your pain or something. There's a change ahead around the 22nd. We're not there yet. Okay. This change, you guys, it will heal your family. It will heal you. Okay. So let's see Leo. Okay, so we have the Queen of Swords. You are becoming and unbecoming. Okay, you see that? From rags to riches, my favorite saying, listen, people may have seen you like this. There may have been some kind of judgment around your head, okay? There may have been some harsh judgments around your confinement, PTSD, or anything that revolves around health. Okay, but moving forward, the next two weeks, you are in your power. You are owning a business. Listen, the wealth is literally, it's pouring in. The money is pouring in. The wealth is pouring in. It's coming in form of a rain. It's going to purify you. It does not change what the past. It hasn't changed what has happened. Okay, so this is where the work is. This is a sacrifice. Really digging to see, okay, really digging to see how these changes can be made, okay, especially if you're coming out of a time of cruelty, you guys, some kind of abuse, if it's been physical, okay, you're letting, you're really, really, listen, the kind of karma you are receiving, it's dharma. Okay, you are abundant. It doesn't change what has happened. Okay, some of you are dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. People want to know what's happening. Okay, people want to understand. Listen, you guys, you are loved. Okay, I want you to know. Leo, you are loved. Something about this change, you are more structured or you feel more confident, you feel more sure, you don't want to mess around, okay? In friendships in life, you are very mature. You're, you know, you've reached Chrome here with the Queen of Swords. You're not messing around. What, what's going on here? Okay. So what's happening for you, Leo?
some of you your heart, Leo. Okay, even as I've been exploring mine, collectively we are in need of some gentle, gentle love. We need love and affection, okay? Listen, your opportunities right now, they may feel heavy, but you're in your power. They're at your feet, you guys. Okay, Leo, they are at your feet, but something about what has happened, I know, I know, Leo, I do. Just, it's kind of tugging at your heart, it's tugging at your feet. Okay, but you will have the shine. Okay, this is about your inner child. Okay, a lot of you guys are revisiting your past around what has happened. Okay, or you're getting serious about your past. Someone here is sharing information. Sorry, you guys, I feel like I'm cutting. Very stabbing pain here. So there may be some kind of, you know, wounds around the mouth. Or something around um, your words can be cutting during this time, okay? So it doesn't matter. I'll tell you why, okay? There's something about people cutting, okay? They may be kind of cutting at your throne, they're cutting at this, they're cutting at that, but you are completely in love with humanity, you want to help people, you are at the feet of service, okay, some of you are becoming a travel nurse, there's something about this, you are learning from it, okay, you're saying, I want to be a better person, your opportunities are abundant, wisdom, service, love, humanity, healing, okay, and it also is coming in shapes of love, of empathy. Okay. You may not... Listen, don't turn your back on your inner child, you guys, or children. There's something around children here, okay? Some of you, if you are parenting someone who is not a child or they're not your children, okay, it may feel as if um, you know, you're being pushed, pulled in different directions, you know, as kind of what happened six months ago, if you guys recall. Okay, you may be feeling a bit out of sorts, okay, but this is a time of reflection, Leo. Your children are teaching you something here. It could be a pet, it could be a child. Okay, or it could just be a guy. There's a teacher here around your joy, around innocence. Okay, so let's see, guys. What opportunities? Some of you are collaborating with other people. Wow, you guys. Listen, I feel that you're taking on these two very, very powerful energies during this time, you guys. We have air, water. You are mixing the two, okay? Because no matter how many times you've been cut down or how many times you've been ridiculed, it doesn't matter. You know where you're going, okay? So listen, travel, some of you, if you are rushing, I, I don't know why I'm getting, you know, the, the feeling of reaching success. There's a rush here, okay? It almost seems as if you're rush rushing, you want to kind of move ahead. You're saying, yes, I am successful. I am successful. Okay, be aware of people who are rushing you in business, Okay, we do have a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay, I feel someone here may be rushing something, my loves. Take your time, okay? And in business, you are investing. 
okay there's something here in business that you're investing in it's going to require a slow slow transformation okay this is stocks for some of you this is a studio i do see beautiful aesthetic you guys pictures frames okay it's beautiful okay so let's see before we move on to love okay let's see you guys so we do have the ace of swords in reverse okay listen there's a division here okay i do feel there's a pause for a reason you guys okay something about this person they're rushing you not everything that glitters is gold but you are an opportunity okay there's something really great here but don't be reckless make sure you are clear in the mind body before there's any kind of movement ahead okay something doesn't feel as if it's matching up right now so pay attention you guys okay so let's talk about love leo some of you are meeting someone here wow there's gold at their crown they are very powerful people i'm having a vision of yellow around their crown okay there's gold here okay so we do have death in reverse okay i also feel there's something empowering about this relationship i feel this is a virgo taurus capricorn perhaps someone that wants to work with you for others it could be a gemini but something will have to be surrendered before you can start anew okay this person is really big in terms of poetry um, songs or they're really aesthetically beautiful okay they want it almost seems as if they're asking you to let go of someone from the past so they can move ahead with you okay listen you guys this person wants to love you how could you the song how could you by mario is coming up how could you okay let's see you guys okay so we have the knight of pentacles okay yes you guys slow and steady wins the race some of you this is a scorpio okay So listen, there's something here, you guys, slow and steady wins the race, okay? A lot of you, this person, there's someone coming in to your life, okay, right around the change of your career this week. They may want you to rush in love or rush in career. Take your time, okay? But I see a beautiful sunflower growing in between these flowers, you guys in between these two cards okay so listen something must be released before you start a new Virgo Taurus Capricorn there's a new proposition in love okay I do feel this person is a bit shy you guys or they're a bit um, distracted but they're they're fearful of your rejection they're coming towards you with this pentacle okay their eyes are very much on industry they want to work with you they want to develop a deeper connection Leo they're very grounded you guys okay So let's talk about love Leo okay so we have the eight of cups you guys yes going back to the past some of you are tempted listen you have new love here new love okay they want to meet you they want to kind of evolve with you but you do have a water sign from the past of Scorpio or this person is they have heavy Scorpio in their chart okay 
You're going to have to make a decision. They both want to reconnect or this person is asking for a second chance. Leo. Okay, meanwhile, you have someone new here. This person's a bit younger. We have someone who is 25, you guys. 25, 26, 27. Okay. Or they are very young in spirit. Okay. Okay, so let's talk about it. Leo. Yes, you guys. Listen in love. Yes, Leo. Look at this. Everything is in your favor for cancer season. The first two weeks. Okay? I'm going to say it again. Everything is in your favor for one reason. The sacrifice. Okay? Pisces does not mess around. The gifts of Neptune does not mess around in love, you guys. Let's get one here for your love life, we have your 10th house of the world. You're dealing with someone who has some kind of fame or recognition. You have a choice between someone who holds a lot of power, someone here who is working in, you know, the field of law, okay? So very, very big, big statuses or prestige. But what's that song, you guys? Donald Jones, Where My Heart Is, or um, Remind Me, you guys. Okay, some of you are making a major decision. Both people, or even three, you guys, these people belong in terms of your destiny. So it's your choice. Okay, one person is in alignment with your future. So this is your choice. Okay. So this is going to be your choice, you guys. I also feel it's important to really heal, okay? Listen, it, it's interesting, okay? You guys have this this timing. It's like you look great, you look fabulous, you're abundant, you're rich, you're, you know. There's so much in your favor, okay? But it's your heart, Leo, okay? It is your heart. This is about your heart and really healing, healing with Archangel Michael, there's some cords here that need to be cut from your heart. They're, they're kind of um, consuming something here in love, okay? This is coming from a Taurus. This person has casted some kind of net around your heart, Leo. And I feel perhaps it's out of vengeance, okay? They know. For others, they may not know. Clear it, Leo, okay? Clear it. Not necessarily through words, you guys can, you know, definitely move forward in whichever way you feel comfortable. But this person will need to be released through the water, a ritual through the water. This is very, very dark energy, you guys. Okay? So let's see here. And love, don't forget you are, yes, Leo. Listen, a lot of these people that are coming towards you, they're successful, they have money. They have status, okay, or you are choosing someone here, but there's an eruption, okay, there's something completely dissolving, and if not, if you are in a relationship or you're single, okay, I do feel there's truth coming out about someone that you love, an Aquarius, uh, Gemini, Libra, something that is <laughs> shocking, okay, I'm getting shocking, and this has to do with wealth, long-term wealth for some of you. For others, this is about your finances, if you are married, okay, or this person's finances. Somebody is shocked here, okay? It doesn't feel as if there's infidelity, Leo. It just seems as if there's something shocking around your foundation, okay? I thought I could trust you. I could trust you. Leo is not having it. You have Scorpio everywhere here, Leo. It's a challenge for us, but listen, where there's Scorpio, there is renewal, there's healing. The kind of, listen, the kind of healing we are. Heartbreak Hotel, honey, okay? 
but we always rise. Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, so let's see Leo in love. We'll finish it up here. Okay, listen, Leo, something around your drive, your father's side, my right side. There may be some tension, some pain, some injuries. Okay, so if so, with the Three of Swords, there's been some kind of betrayal and injury, okay? Forgive. Okay, Leo, this is going to just take this weight off your shoulders. A lot of you, there's a painful realization around an air sign. Shocking, okay? Some of you are not shocked at all, but the change in love that's coming with it. Okay? Wrong time, perfect person, okay? You have people at your feet, Leo. Or you are meeting someone and it's just not the right time, but it fits. The resume looks perfect. You're like, why now? <laughs> okay, let's see what the shocking news are about, you guys. What, what is this? The Tower Spirit and the Three of Swords. This hurts. <laughs> Oof, this hurts, Leo. Okay, what is it? Wow, let's see what spirit has in store here. How could you? Listen, Leo, this is coming from a Libra. Someone sold a foundation, okay, out of spite. Listen, karma is on your side. Dharma is on your side. Please do not worry, okay? There's something really... Okay, but you're going to make it. You're going to make it in love. We always do. We have the Page of Cups here. Gemini for some of you. We have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You have two offers coming in. Some of you are saying, I cannot give right now. Others, this, these people may not be in a good place to give if you're waiting for them. But listen, there's potential, Leo. Okay, not everything is black and white. Not everything is... You know, linear this month, cancer shows you how to flow, how to open your heart to vulnerabilities, creative endeavors, art, music specifically, and another here that's very, very, um, it's grounded around the earth, okay? It's actually something involving crafting, you're using your hands, people get to see, and you get to work with someone that you really like, okay? Don't go chase some waterfalls, Leo. What is the outcome? Someone here doesn't want to give, Leo. Maya Angelou, believe them the first time they show you who they are. Okay, no matter how they want to view you. Okay. What is the outcome, you guys? Yes. Okay. If it requires you to, I don't want to say dumb it down, you guys. <laughs> if it requires you to, you know, lose your, your, your sense of morality or your values, is it worth it, Leo? Okay, after everything you've been through, okay, this is about awakening a new love that will meet you here. Okay, you have the hawk, you have the dress, you have the gown. Okay, you have the trees. You have, okay. Is it worth it, Leo? Okay, evolve or repeat, Leo. Someone here doesn't want to see your aesthetic. They don't want to see the, okay, they don't want to see the, the shine or whatever it is that you're bringing in terms of class. This is class. Okay, that's their stuff, you guys. This is their shadow work. Some of you, it may be the earth sign here. For others, pay attention to where you land in terms of their heart. Okay, they'll show you who they are the first time around. I love you. Please work with Aquamarine. Really wash away the pain, you guys. I love you, love you, love you, Leo. Yes, bye.